sighted moon. For articles, videos, and updates, visit sightedmoon.com. Gives a Torah scroll to the to the king. All the people stand up, stand up, stand up. We're rehashing. We're redoing that. And the king reach You give it to the king. You get all your other feet behind you. And the king takes it and goes and he sits down. And when the king sits down, then all the people sit down. Actually, the people remain standing to, read, to listen. And you can sit down because it's a hot day. And when you read Nehemiah and Ezra, this is what they're doing. But they just found the Torah for the first time. And they read it to the people. And they read it on this day. During the seventh year, that was the 49th year of that sabbatical cycle. That's why it's recorded. That's why it's so special. So what you're doing here today has not been done other than the one time I did it right here with four other men, three other men, has not been done for 2,000 years. So what you guys are taking part in today is a historic event, the restoration of all things. Amen. The Sabbath was restored to more churches in the, after the 1900s, then the Holy Days after about the 1930s and 40s. The Shemitah year since 2005 is when I started yelling it out. Know, and there's other things, the Hebrew language, right? Since they've been back in the land. The restoration of all things is taking place now and you are a part of it. You are that Elijah spirit. So for today, there's different things that I'm told that you can read. And, and we're gonna do, I wanna start with the pomp and ceremony part. So we're going to start in Exodus 19, where Jehovah, the king, is reading <coughs> the law, the covenant, to the two to the three million people that were sitting there listening. Then we're going to go to Deuteronomy, and then we're going to go back to Leviticus, and we'll finish up with Leviticus. But we're going to read all of Deuteronomy. So let's go to Exodus 19. The other thing is, Anybody that wants to read a chapter, we're going to take turns reading a chapter. Come up here. If you don't want to read, that's fine. But we're going to take turns reading. This is not a day for debates. There's no debating. There's no discussion. We're just going to read the Torah today. Tonight, tomorrow, the rest of the week, we can argue our brains out. But right now, <laughs> we are just going to perform what we call the hakel, the gathering. You are gathered to read this. Gather the people, yeah. right? So that starts in Exodus 19. Give me a verse. Give me that the right verse. Let's just start in verse 19. This is going to take approximately three to four hours. And we've got the perfect day because there's nobody coming through here. Mm -hmm. This is a blessing. Amen. So, Amen. Um, I'm going to read for the first little bit, and then I'm going to pass it off, and we can just start doing it. And James, once I get through 19, you can turn that off. That'll be enough to send up there. Okay. In the third month after the children of Israel had gone out of the land of Egypt, on the same day they came to the wilderness of Sinai, where they had departed from Rephidim and had come to the wilderness of Sinai and camped in the wilderness. So Israel camped there before the mountain. And Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, Tell the children of Israel, 
You have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Let me just interrupt here. Today is the day every seventh year that you seven yourself. Now, I tried to explain sevening. Uh, sevening is like you're giving an oath. So it's just like when you count to the Feast of Shavuot, you're sevening yourself, you're renewing your oath at the Feast of Shavuot when this was done. Here we are in the sabbatical year. You're sevening yourself again. You're sevening yourself every time you keep the Sabbath. You're rededicating that oath <coughs> to our husband, Jehovah. And this is his ketubah, the marriage contract, that we agreed to in his loin, in the loins of our ancestors. So if you're being called now, Jehovah has called you to be here. And if you stop and think about that, there should be, there's only four of us here in 2009. Now there's 23 of us. There should be 10,000 of us here. There will be. There will be, because you guys can take this and share it. Okay, so that's the last interruption from anybody, <laughs> including me. Um, verse 6. And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which you shall speak to the children of Israel. So Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before them all these words which the Lord commanded them. Then all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord has spoken, we will do. So Moses, so Moses brought back the words of the people to the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I come to you in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with you and believe you forever. So Moses told the words of the, of the people to the Lord. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their clothes, and let them be ready for the third day. For on the third day the Lord will come down upon Mount Sinai, Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. You shall send, set bounds for the people all around, saying, Take heed to yourself that you do not go up the mountains or touch its base. Whoever touches the mountain shall surely be put to death. Not a hand shall touch him, but he shall surely be stoned or shot with an arrow. For the man or beast, he shall not live. When the trumpet sounds long, they shall come near the mountain. So Moses went, so Moses went down from the mountain to the people and sanctified the people, and they washed their clothes. And he said to the people, Be ready for the third day. Do not come near your wives. Then it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunderings. So this is the pomp and, and ceremony that we're talking of. That there were thunderings and lightnings and a thick cloud on the mountain. And the sound of the trumpet was very loud. And so that all the people who were in the camp trembled. And Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet with God. And they stood at the foot of the mountain. Now, the, now Mount Sinai was completely in smoke because of the Lord descended upon it in fire. His smoke ascended like the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. And when the blast of the trumpet sounded long and became louder and louder, Moses spoke, and God answered him by voice. Then the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mountain, and the Lord called to Moses to the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. And the Lord said to Moses, Go down and warn the people, lest any break through to gaze at the Lord, and many of them perish. And let the priests who come near the Lord consecrate themselves, lest the Lord break out against them. But Moses said to the Lord, The people cannot come up the mount, up to Mount Sinai, for you warned us, saying, Set bounds around the mount and consecrate it. Then the Lord said to him, Away, get down, and, and then come up, you and Aaron with you. But do not let the priests and the people break through to come up to the Lord, lest he break out against them. So Moses went down to the people and spoke to them. Chapter 20. And, Moses, and God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. 
You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I am the Lord your God, and a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands to those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work, you nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, you shall not covet, covet your neighbor's house, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbor's. Now all the people witnessed the thundering, the lightning, the flashes, the sound, and the trumpet, and the making of uh, the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they trembled and stood afar off. Then they said to Moses, You speak with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said to the people, Do not fear, for God has come to test you, and that his fear may be before you, so that you may not sin. So the people stood afar off, but Moses drew near the thick darkness where God was. Then the Lord said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, You have seen that I have ta talked with you from heaven. You shall not make anything to be with me, gods of silver, gods of gold, you shall not make for yourselves. An altar of earth you shall make for me, and you shall sacrifice on it your burnt offerings, your peace offerings, your sheep and your oxen, in every place where I record my name, I will come to you and I will bless you. If you will make me an altar of stone, and if you make me an altar of stone, you shall not build it of hewn stone, for if you use your tool on it, you have profaned it. Nor shall you go up by steps to my altar, that your nakedness may not be exposed on it. So are we still recording? Yes. Yes? So brethren, I hope you have a great day today and that you do this reading in whatever group you're with. And if you don't do it today, do it tomorrow. But do it during the feast and do it with other people. Shalom. The ox shall certainly be stoned, and his flesh is not eaten, and the owner of the ox is innocent. However, if the ox is previously in the habit of goring, and its owner has been worn, and he has not kept confined so that he has killed a man for or a woman the ox for him for he should make full restitution if ye have nothing then he shall be sold for his theft if the theft be certainly found in, in his hand alive whether it be ox or ass or sheep he shall restore double if a man shall cause a field or a vineyard to be eaten and shall put his in his beast the bride for a bride blinds the seeing one and twists the words of the righteous and do not oppress a sojourner so you yourselves know the life of a And Moshe went into the midst of the cloud and went up into the mountain and it came to be that Moshe was on the mountain forty days and forty nights. In commandment unto them after he had slain Sihon, the king of the Amorites, which dwelt in Heshbon, and Og, the king of Bashan, which dwelt at Asroth and Edri. On this side, Jordan, in the land of Moab, began Moses to declare this law, saying, The Lord our God spoke unto us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you and take your journey, and go to the mount of the Amorites, and unto all the places nigh thereunto, in the plains, in the hills, in the valley, in the south, 
and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, and to the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord sworn to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. And I spoke unto you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. The Lord your God has my be on guard very much. And you shall not fight against them, for I will not give their land to you, even to a step of a sole of a foot. For I have given Mount Seir to Esau as a possession. You shall buy food from them with silver, and you shall eat. You shall buy water from them with silver, and you shall drink. For Yahweh, king of the Amorites, which dwells at Hezbon, so Yahweh our Elohim delivered into our hands out also the king of Bashan and all his people and we smote him until none was left uh, tr to him remaining and we took all his cities at that time and there was not a city which we took not from them even as the Lord my God commanded me and ye shall do so in the land which whither ye go to possess it keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this great nation is... You were afraid because of the fire, and you did not go up to the mountain, saying, I am the Lord your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Misraim, out of the house of bondage. You have no other mighty ones against my face. You do not make for yourselves a carved image, any likeness of which is in the heavens above, or which is in the earth. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in that house, when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them. So, for they who will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods, so will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. But thus shall you deal with them. You shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire. Thy raiment waxed not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so does Yahuwah thy Elohim chastise thee. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of Yahuwah thy Elohim to walk in his ways and to fear him. And cause them to perish quickly, as Yahweh has said to you. Do not think to yourself after your God has pushed them out ahead of you. It is to reward my righteousness that Yahweh has brought me in to take possession of this land. No. It is because these nations have been so wicked that Adonai is driving them out ahead of you. It is not because of your righteousness or because your heart is up is so upright that you go in and take possession of their land. But Father spoke unto you in the mount of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And Yahweh gave them unto me, and I turned myself and came down from the mount and put these tables in the ark which I had made. And there they be, as your Yodhibabe commanded me. You didn't experience what he kept doing for you in the desert until you arrived at this place, or what he did to Datan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the descendants of Reuben. How the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, along with their households, tents, and everything living in their company, there in front of all of Israel. But you have seen with your own eyes all these great deeds of Adonai, Therefore you are to keep every mitzvot I am giving you today, so that you will live, so that you will be strong enough to go in and take possession of the land you and your you are crossing over to conquer. You shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods, upon the high mountains and upon the hills and on every green tree. You shall th overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire and you shall hail down the graven images of their gods. Destroy the names of them out of that place. Ye then shall you bring them both out into the gates of the city and you shall stone them with stones that they die. The damsel, because she cried not, being in the city, and the man, because he had humbled his neighbor's wife. So thou shalt put evil away from among them. 
But if a man find a betrothed damsel in the field, that's wings and takes it and bears it on its wing. When Yahweh alone led him, there was no strange God with him. He made him ride on the high places of the, of the earth, so he might eat the increase of the fields. And he made him suck honey out of the rock, and oil out of the plenty rock, butter from cows, and milk from the flock, with fat from lambs, and rams of the sons of Bashim, and he goats, with the fat of the kidney of wheat, and of the blood of the grape, he shall drink. But Yeshu grew fat, and kicked, he grew fat, thick and sated, and he abandoned Elohim who made him, and fell away. Inheritance of the congregation of Jacob, and he was king in Yeshurah, when he hates the people, and the tribes of Israel were gathered together. Let Reuben live and not die, and let not this man be few. And this is the blessing of Judah. And he said, Hear Adonai, the voice of Judah, and bring him unto his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and be down health to him from his enemies. And of Levi he said, Let thy Tumen and thy Urim be with thy Holy One, whom thou didst prove at Massa, and with whom thou didst strive at the waters of Meribah who said unto his father and to his mother, I have not seen him, neither did he acknowledge his brethren, nor knew his own children, for they have observed thy word and kept thy covenant. These are the days of Elijah, declaring the word of the Lord. And these are the days of your servant Moses, Righteousness being restored And though these are days of great trials Of famine and darkness and sore Still we are the voice in the desert Crying, prepare ye the way of the Lord Behold He comes, riding on the clouds Shining like the sun Trumpet!